Hello Grade 11s. In this lesson we will look at payslips as part of personal income. A payslip is a method used to keep a record of salaries paid. We will use a basic payslip to explore some of the terminology used. We will then look at two more payslips in more detail. This is an example of a payslip supplied by the Department of Labor to employers. They would give this to their workers. Here are the details of the employer. The employer is the company that the employee works for. The name of the employee and the identity number must be included on the payslip. The employee number is the number that has been allocated to the employee by the employer for the employer's record keeping. The occupation grade is the position that the employee holds with the employer. The pay period shows the period that was worked. Basic wage refers to the tariff that is being paid, either per hour, per day, per week, or per month. The next part of the payslip is divided into two sections, namely the income section and deduction section. We are firstly going to look at income. Ordinary hours worked are the normal working hours that the employee has worked. Overtime, Sundays and public holidays may be paid at a higher rate and for this reason they are listed separately. Payment in kind is a payment of goods and services and not in cash. For example, a waitress may be allowed to eat a plate of food to a certain value as part of her shift. Payment in kind is not a favorite method of payment. The waitress may prefer to be paid the value of the meal she would have eaten on the shift. This needs to be negotiated with the employer. Allowances are paid to employees under special circumstances. This payslip has included a food allowance of 500 rand. Other examples of allowances are travel and cell phone allowances. Some artisans also get an allowance to buy tools they need for their jobs. All of these allowances are given so that the employee can perform their job better. All these amounts are then totaled. The total amount that you now get is known as the gross income. Gross income is defined as that amount of money that is received before any deductions are made. Deductions refer to those items that are subtracted from the gross salary before a salary is paid. Looking at this payslip, provision has been made for PAYE. This is an abbreviation for pay as you earn and is a form of tax that is deducted from the salary. Unemployment Insurance Fund is abbreviated to the letters UIF. This calculated as 1% of your basic salary. UIF applies to all employers and workers except for learners, public servants, foreigners working on contracts, workers who get a monthly state pension or workers who earn commission. This money goes towards an insurance fund. If a worker goes on maternity leave to have a baby or has to take long-term sick leave, they are able to claim a percentage of their salary to cover the break in payment from their employer. Union fees are usually also deducted from the salary. This payslip also indicates that the employee is paying off a loan from his salary. The monthly deductions for this is 50 Rand. Once all the deductions have been listed and totaled, the total amount due can be calculated. 2,800 Rand minus 83 Rand gives a total of 2,717 Rand. This is the amount of money that the employer pays the employee. We shall see on the next few payslips there are many other deductions that can be made. Let's look at a payslip of a human resource manager. This payslip looks different to the previous one, but the features remain the same. We can see the employer's details as well as the employee's details are displayed on the payslip. Again, we have the income and deductions in two separate sections. This payslip has an additional section where the totals for the year are also summarized for the employee. Lastly, on the payslip, the amount of leave that has accumulated for the past period is also displayed. This is an important feature on a payslip as you can check if the paymaster has made any errors with your salary. 
We're now going to look at a payslip issued by the Department of Education. Most payslips that are generated by large institutions or special payroll companies are sealed so that the information contained therein remains confidential and only the employee opens the seals. The personal information includes the personal details of the employee and such details such as the job title and the appointment date. This is the date the employee first started working in this company. The personnel number or personal number is the unique number assigned to the employee. The employee's bank account and the pay date are indicated. Also listed here is the employee's pension number, sick leave and salary notch. This is the scale of the salary that the employee is paid on. The summary of the month's gross salary, deductions and net salary are also listed here. This employee receives two types of income, a basic salary and a housing rental subsidy. In the deduction section, you will notice item codes listed. These are the codes supplied by the South African Revenue Service and are to be used when submitting documents for tax. The tax deducted displayed here is calculated using special tax calculation tables and is made up of both SITE and PAYE. The next deduction shows the pension fund contribution that is calculated as a percentage of the basic salary. Let's show how this was calculated. We divide this amount of 919,6 Rand by the basic salary of 12,262,25 Rand and multiply by 100 to get a percentage. The percentage deducted from the salary for pension contribution is 7,5%. The last group of amounts of deductions on the employee's payslip include union fees and levies for professional body membership. The last part of the payslip has a detailed summary of the year's income and deductions for the tax year to date. This information is what will be furnished to SARS by the employer for income tax assessment at the end of the tax year. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember, the tasks for this section can be found in the Basics of Finance task video. You'll also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.